Hi, my name is Alex Chan. I am a professor of clinical pharmacy and also an oncology pharmacist from University of California, Irvine, uh, which is located in Irvine, California. Uh, I've been a MASS member since 2009, and currently I'm a president-elect for the organization. Um, I'm also the scientific chair for this year's annual meeting. Um, this year's annual meeting for MASS is happening in Lille, France, and we have close to 1,500 participants or delegates for this meeting uh, from 56 countries. Um, we also have close to 1,000 abstracts that were submitted to this meeting, very high quality content on cancer supportive care. So as you know, cancer supportive care is extremely important as a topic um, for cancer patients who are undergoing cancer chemotherapy as well as the survivorship phase as well. Essentially, supportive care should be provided from the point of diagnosis all the way until end of life. So for our mass organizations, we have a lot of study groups that focus on different side effects, toxicities, and also issues that are very related to supportive care in our cancer patients. I myself has a strong interest in survivorship and also cancer-related cognitive impairments. I'm very active in the survivorship study group and also in the neurological complications study group, as well as in the anti medic study group as well. I participated in some of the research studies and also guidelines writing, as well as collaborative projects with a lot of members within MASK. Um, I'm very excited with the future of MASK. Um, we have the goal to increase our membership to close to 5,000 in the next two years by engaging a lot of the um, uh, providers as well as clinicians from different parts of the world. Um, we do want to have more, so to speak, um, footprint in Africa, China, Latin America, so that we're able to ensure that supportive care as a concept is also well introduced in low middle income countries and also places where mass doesn't have a lot of footprint. Um, I also have a strong interest in reducing health disparity related to cancer supportive care. So I also led this, um, co-led this um, uh, his health disparity committee together with another member of our organization to look at how can we reduce health disparity. So recently, like when we have conducted a, a membership survey, we looked at how health disparity as an issue in cancer supportive care. Clearly, uh, you know, countries with, you know, poorer social demographic sort of situations have, you know, less of the supportive care um, sort of support. And a lot of the members have articulated that, you know, guidelines and also toolkits and resources are extremely important to ensure that even members of the LMIC or the low middle income countries are able to benefit from supportive care guidelines as generated from mass. So one of the agendas that I'm also trying to make sure is that when we produce guidelines uh, for the various toxicities for supportive care, we also wanted to make sure that there are localized guidelines or resource stratified guidelines so that we're able to help providers in order to provide the best supportive care to patients who are undergoing treatment. Um, future is bright for MASS, so I urge you, if you haven't really joined MASS as a member or find out more about MASS, come to our website, www.massmascc.org, and uh, you can find out more about our organization. Um, and our next annual meeting is in Seattle, so that's in June 2025, and then the following annual meeting in 2026 is in Melbourne. So I hope to see many of you who are interested in uh, cancer supportive care. Uh, thank you. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Onka Daily on YouTube. Hit the bell icon to stay updated.